This is my 2022 Giant Anthem Pro custom built bike. This is the bike I finished the 2023 Absa Cape Epic on. Today I'm going to show you all the gadgets and all the little accessories I have on this bike and just how we survived the Cape Epic. Okay, so in the back of my number board, I've got the route profile with all the climbs and all the feed zones. Very important to know where your feed zones are. Also got a tip from Nino Schurter. They put their chain links in the supplied holes on the Epic board and they were very secure and that's where they stay. Also got a couple of personal notes on the back of the board from my son, just to keep me motivated. Of course, we spend more time in the saddle during the Epic. We go for a slightly thicker grip. This is the ESI chunky grip, so it gives you more more grip when you're riding, more comfort, longer hours in the saddle, you need to protect your hands. So for my plug system, I ride with samurai swords. I ride with three forks, preloaded, one in each bar, and I store the third one in my cranks. Depending on your style of crank, you can actually store your samurai sword in your crank for quick access and have a third one ready to go. Garmin 830. This is connected to my power to max power meter. My partner and myself ride to power just so we don't burn too many matches while we're riding. I've also got a 20 minute drink reminder and a 45 minute eat reminder set on here. So alarm goes off every 20 minutes and 45 minutes to remind me to eat and drink. I've also got a little personal touch, just my name on the Garmin. In case I lose it, people can find me and hand it in at the race office. Once again, just a little personal touch. Got my son's photo here for some motivation. Family is very important through the Epic and they support you through all your training and the race. And then obviously just the race number. So your bike's got your ID on it. The SRAM GX AXS system gx it's cheaper easy on the wallet a little bit heavier but that's okay SRAM g2 brake system i'm a heavier guy so i need all the braking power i can get rock shock axs dropper it handled the weather on this year's cape epic 100 percent had no issues at all c6 800 mil flat bar carbon fiber c6 are going to be bringing out a 760 mil bar i use 800 mil bar i'm a slightly bigger guy broader shoulders so this is way more comfortable for me Fox 34, 120 mil. All my gear is manual lockout. I just didn't want all the extra cables on the bike. And the rear is 100 mil travel, also manual lockout. Sounds awesome. <laughs> Trail pedal, just more support on the bottom of your shoe. Way more comfortable, especially on the longer days. So with my new bike setup, it took me a while to find a stem. Eventually, the most comfortable stem I found for me was a 100 mil, seven degree pro stem. 175 mil cranks, I've got long legs, and since I started riding, 175 mil cranks have been my go-to crank. I use a power to max NG power meter. Power meter, very important for my partner and myself. It really helps us control how much power we're pushing out on rides, and we can communicate with each other what our power is, and if we're going too hard or too slow, and this is a very good way to know your numbers on how you're riding during a long stage race. A little fun tip, if you're going super slow and pushing too many watts, your brakes are jammed. This will help. I replaced the cage on my derailleur. This is a cage from C6. This cage is way more durable. It's made from solid aluminum and it is super tough. I've also got titanium wheels on there. Super light with ceramic bearings and a little custom touch there, CK74. For a little extra insurance, I've got a battery cover protecting my AXS battery, ride with a spare battery. If you're not going to use it yourself, you can help a fellow rider out there who's in trouble. My tires this year were Maxi's Recon Race 2.4s, slightly wider tire. There was a lot of mud, a lot of sand, a lot of water this year. The bigger tire definitely helped. Inside the tire, we ran Pepe's tire noodles. We managed to run slightly lower tire pressures this year and the tie noodles protected us from snake bites and gave us that extra layer of protection while riding on really rough terrain. So I use a colorful valve cap so I can see it easily when I need to repair and find the valve. It's also got a built-in valve core remover. I just take it off, put it on, and it's very easy for you to remove your valve core. Another small tip that might sound stupid, but I always try and line my valves up to the logo. Also, once again, it's very easy to spot where your valve is. Cassette I was using was a 1052 Eagle Cassette, more range. I like my granny gear. 32 oval C6 chainring. Leading up to Epic, I rode with a 34 and swapped down to 32 a week before. Just so you train with a harder gear ratio leading up to the Epic. Strapped to my frame is a Samurai switchblade, tire levers, extra sword and extra fork, and this also carries spare chain links. The Giant can only hold one bottle, so line components make this very cool double cage holder called the Holy Rail. 
lets you hold two bottles. In my case, I've got a toolbox fitted over here and my bottle over there. Super easy to access and to get out. Attached to my bottle cage is a tool from Giant called the Clutch 12. This is every single tool you can use. Look how rusty that is. Flip the nail. That's how tough the terrain was this year that my tool rusted. Attached to the Holy Rail is my Lazine pocket drive pump. This is my specialized power saddle. I've been using this style saddle for about six years. And a friend of mine, Darren Law, actually once told me, if you find a saddle that you like, buy 20 of them. Your bum is very important, look after your bum. So here's a very cool storage device from Giant. You can store your spare CO2 in your fork. So that's how that system looks. Also fits your CO2 head. And this is a magnet over here and a spare chain link in the bottom of that. Giant clutch system not only stores your CO2, it also stores your spare chain links and is magnetized. In the front, I use a 180 mil rotor. In the back, I use a 160 mil rotor. Another quick tip for the Cape Epic, bring your own brake pads. There was a huge shortage of brake pads this year. If you use specific brake pads like Magura or any other brand, you never know if we can get those spares in South Africa. So bring your own brake pads. I went through three sets of brake pads in seven days. My wheels I'm using are the Giant XCR carbon wheels. These are an extra wide rim, extra support on the tire. Just a quick run through of all the spares I carried in my toolbox. This is a Featherlight tube from Maxis. Spare CO2 with a head adapter on. A spare hanger, very important part to carry. A little Leatherman. A seat clamp mount, in case your seat fails, you can clamp your seat back on. Spare battery for the AXS controllers. Spare AXS battery. A little gaiter or a patch. Spare valve. Spare brake pads. Spare Samurai plugs. Spare levers and some duct tape rolled up flat so it can store nice and easy. And all of that fits into that. Okay, so that's it for my bike check. I hope I've been able to help with some information on how my bike is set up and kitted. And hopefully you can use some of these tips for the 2024 Absa Cape Epic. Good luck and see you guys on the start line.